Hey guys, it's RC Gade. Welcome back to Squared Circle Rants. And today I got some some interesting internet headlines to talk about in the world of professional wrestling. I don't know, sometimes it seems that what you read on the internet involving pro wrestling is more interesting than what's actually going on on TV. Even though there is some good stuff going on. But... <laughs> This is a little more interesting. For example, AEW star Brian Danielson details how his wife, Brie Bella, now Brie Garcia, disturbs him in the bedroom. On a recent episode of the Unconsciously Coupled podcast, no clue what that is, Danielson spoke about his wife, Brie Bella, now Brie Garcia, a WWE Hall of Famer. Brian mentioned that he prefers to go to bed early around 8.15 p.m., but he gets disturbed when Brie watches TV while he is trying to sleep. Ah, oh, this was clickbaity. Well, was it? Yeah. That's kind of, well... It's, a, okay, not horrible clickbait, but you, you, you knew people had a mind like mine. You knew a lot of people were going to click this just for that title. <laughs> she watches right next to me, her show on full blast. What I do when I want to go to sleep or read or whatever, I put on headphones, put on an eye mask. I go out of my way to make her life more convenient. Ooh, how easy would it be for her to put on headphones because she's watching it on her iPad anyway? How easy would it be for her to put on headphones? It's not on the TV, Bryce. <laughs> well, okay, so this is more of a vent session. Yep, yep, okay. That okay. all right? You got you 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 fooled me in one thing, but I I'm still entertained. Let's let's move on over to a story from WrestleZone, where apparently Vince McMahon wanted Xavier Woods to turn on Kofi Kingston after winning King of the Ring. That's interesting. I know right away a lot of fans are going, no, boo, and of course Vince would do that. So according to Fightful Sean Ross Sapp, via Fightful Select, following Xavier Woods' King of the Ring win, Vince McMahon pitched for him to turn on Kofi Kingston because it's what a king would do. Despite the man's request, Sapp reports that Woods specifically fought against allowing that turn to happen. That does make sense because I it it has happened before. Actually, it even says here this isn't the first time that Vince McMahon has tried to separate the New Day either, as Sapp confirms that WWE owner has pitched to break up the faction on multiple occasions. Xavier Woods currently finds himself alone to the road to WrestleMania. Yeah, that is sad. That Kofi's injured, Biggie's been injured, uh, so Woods is on his own. I will say yes, of course it was a Vince idea. That is a Vince thing. They've tried it before. However, I'm trying to remember, did he he want yeah, he won it when Biggie was out. So it might have worked. I don't know. I mean, I love the new day. Um it's definitely one of those factions you're surprised has lasted so well, not surprised, they're very talented guys. Um, but surprise especially from what they started from to where they got. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't, 
say, oh man, that should have happened. But if it did happen, I'd be interested. Then again, think about it. Vince, before he went away and before he came back, booking, you know, <laughs> you know. So yeah, I don't, I would hope for the best in that kind of turn, but I wouldn't see it you know, being so great in the end. All right, let's go back to Sportskita. Sportskita. I've heard about this rumor, and I think with uh, another video I did, can't remember which one. You keep track. I don't want to. <laughs> uh, but Mick Foley said that he had someone that he was going to induct, and they're just waiting to hear about it. So... This rumor makes a little sense, not saying it could be Mick inducting. But okay, so, but the rumor is Stacy Keebler uh, is going to be the next person in the WWE Hall of Fame or announced for this year. Again, highly rumored. Take it with a thing of salt and just toss it against the wall. But just this rumor alone, <laughs> so Cal Val is not happy of at just the thought of Stacy Keebler. So yeah, Val shared her thoughts on former ECW star Francine's podcast, where she noted that the Hall of Fame process makes no sense. The hierarchy makes no effing sense that a Stacy Keebler, as influential as she was, to a Victoria. Ask any female wrestler in this business if they think Stacy should be inducted before a Victoria or a Mickey James. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> it doesn't make effing sense. And whoever is making those decisions, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you, whoa. Wait, what? Oh, because you... Ticking everyone off. I don't know. That's how you could edit that. Everybody off, including myself. Said SoCal Val. Why? She does make a little bit of a point. I love Stacy. Well, yes. Love Stacy Keebler. Big part of my young adult years. No, um, but no, big part of what I watched uh, on WWE television, I think also on WCW. Actually, no, I don't quite remember WCW, more so WWE. Um, but yes, compared to Victoria, Mickey James, you know, those names just thrown out right there. Yes, those two over Stacy, but... I don't think I'd be that passionate <laughs> is the best way to say that. Of course, then again, I get really passionate about stuff and things. But in the end, you just got to say F them or it or it all, whatever. But from Cultaholic Wrestling, uh, apparently Vince McMahon said F him after finding out fans were against Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin at WWE WrestleMania 35. Uh, Vince McMahon didn't care about fan opinion of Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin. But as you may know, many believed, and so do I, as much as I'd like to see more out of Corbin. Uh, but yes, many believe that Corbin was not worthy of the honor of retiring angle. Yeah, he, he really wasn't. Uh, with fellow legends Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels going out against HBK and The Undertaker, respectively, uh, McMahon seemingly didn't care about the fan backlash aimed at the pairing with former WWE writer Dave Schilling sharing the following on Twitter. Oh no, it's Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin when it was mentioned in a production meeting that the fans hated the idea of this match. Vince laughed so hard that he said, F him. Oh, oh, oh. Probably laugh like that. Uh, revealed Schilling during a WrestleMania 35 watch along session. See, this is another reason why Vince should just stay gone. But 
even though he's not gone, he's here for now, just stay out of creative. Just stay away, man. You, this, this was just another example of you kind of losing it. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> there you have it, folks. Let me know what you thought of these uh, internet headlines. Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you like this episode, if you like the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Really helps me out, guys. I just want to make an honest living, and I don't want to go back to retail. <laughs> All right. Have a great one, guys.